This is probably one of the first studies that was designed to say, is there a difference between a patient who's struggling with depression in comparison to what we would call a control patient who doesn't have depression? But we knew right away that we wanted to dig deeper and see if there were differences in bipolar disorder. Again, patients who are struggling with depression, but we know have had a history of a mania or a hypomanic episode. And unipolar major depression, depressed patients who've never had a history of mania. And we knew we were gonna dig further to really look at patients specifically who've had a history of mania versus patients who've had a history of hypomania versus patients who've not had a history of either. And that's where the data became most interesting or where we really saw six proteins, you know, measurements in blood, potential biomarkers that really were distinguishing that group. The biggest difference in how we think about treating depression in the context of bipolar disorder versus in the context of major depressive disorder is the role of antidepressants. So this type of study can help the clinician make the right diagnosis, give greater precision to the diagnosis, and by doing so, sets the stage for greater precision in treatment recommendations. That's, that's the potential for early studies like this. For the most part, all of the diagnoses that we make in psychiatry, whether it's a depression clinic, a bipolar clinic, a schizophrenia clinic, is really based on an interview and signs and symptoms that we look for or diagnostic criteria that we look for. We don't have that EKG marker of a heart attack. We don't have that elevated temperature of a fever. There's, a, there's great interest in really looking at uh, developing these biological markers to help get the right diagnosis uh, to the right patient.